Chapter 4. A Prophetic Word One or more people may single you out and speak God's word over you. This topic can be hard to understand. I believe God wants you to overcome whatever may block you from receiving the prophetic word. The prophet's role is based on Deuteronomy 18.18 says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. In the New Testament times, the gift of prophecy continued with people who now had the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. 1 Timothy 1.18 says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. 1 Timothy 4.14 says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee by the Holy Spirit which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Prophetic Today The Holy Spirit still uses people to declare the word of the Lord. God can use anyone in the prophetic. Those who minister need to fast, pray, and flow in the Holy Spirit. Usually those who have the gift of prophecy are anointed in that area. 1 Corinthians 12, 7 through 11 says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, and to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one in the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. The ministry of the prophet is to preach with revealed knowledge truth of God's word. The gift of prophecy will operate in their ministry. The gift of prophecy is a fabulous relating of God. It is exciting when God speaks personally to show that he cares. God speaking through someone that does not know what God is saying is the wonderful word of God. Receiving a Prophetic Word We must have confidence in the calling and anointing of the person delivering the word. If we don't know the person, we still need to recognize the gift is of God. We can know this by the inward witness. If there is not trust in the minister, you won't receive the word. The word spoken must be spoken in front of witnesses to be judged. If someone wants to give you a word in private, I'd question the word. When I have a word of the Lord, I make sure that there is a leader, such as a pastor, present. There will be less room for error. A true word of God will correct without condemning. Prophecy will exhort, edify, and encourage while it gives correction to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. The Word must line up with the Bible. If it does not line up with God's Word, it is not accurate. First, when you receive a Word of God, remember these few but important rules I live by. Second, have confidence in the anointing of the person delivering the word. Third, the word is spoken in front of witnesses to be judged. Fourth, when the word corrects, it will not condemn. Fifth, the word must line up with God's word, the Bible.